is the Holy Ghost God you need to worship him as God are you here if you don't your imagination will be darkened and you'll go to believe something else which is where most people are but if you do worship him as God you'll begin believing the right thing he'll start to guide your belief into truth The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying Ghost words. My God name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure that you like and subscribe down below, and we'll be able to get to you our new messages as they come out. If you stay to the end of this message, I will tell you how you can skip ahead spiritually. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. Say the love of God. The love the love of God so God must love right mm -hmm. God is love he must love so the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you yes. what's gonna be with you the communion of the Holy Ghost did you see this but it says the communion specifically of the Holy Ghost be with you now why would he say that because the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he's the one that's with you got news for you Jesus is not with you as much as you'd like that to be that way he's not he's where at the Father's right hand and he sent another to be with you literally he said I will send another to be with you here we have communion of the Holy Ghost be with you you got that so communion here if we look at that word it's the Greek word koinonia it means intimate personal say intimate and personal, intimate and, personal. and a relationship mm -hmm. so you should in theory we should have if we're doing it the right way say if I'm doing it the right way, I'm doing it the right way. then you should have an intimate and personal relationship with who the Holy Ghost now you can't have a relationship with someone who isn't a person so he must be a person he has to be a fellow to have fellowship with you don't have fellowship with an animal you don't have fellowship with a force or a power you have fellowship with a fellow that's a person like you say I'm a person, I'm a person. He's, a person. he's a person I'm a fellow, I'm a fellow. he's a fellow he's you get that so we can communicate with one another and commune with one another does this make sense yeah. so it's personal I take this as a personal thing a personal meaning I'm supposed to have a personal interest in my personal relationship with the Holy Ghost as a person yeah. he's a fellow person we have fellowship with the fellow person that he is and by the way he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today he's the only one we have a personal relationship with mm -hmm. I know that's gonna raise the hair on the back of a lot of people's heads because they like to say other things but that's the fact most people have a problem with that I understand just hang on we're gonna keep going right I can't sit here and try to coddle everybody but the fact is Jesus is not here he went to the father's right hand and sent another and the another is here he's in, his name is the Holy Ghost he's the one that we have personal they personal personal. personal fellowship with are you here yes now if I have personal fellowship one-on-one -on -one, say one-on-one one-on-one -on -one. One -on -one fellowship I'm communicating with him should I talk to him kind of hard to have fellowship with someone that's a person if you're not talking right he talks to you we talk to him right mm -hmm. if I have personal relationship and fellowship with him real personal fellowship and relationship with him wouldn't I come to know him first of all would I come to know him yeah. yes I get to know about him. would I come to know him as God mm -hmm. are you here yes so if I'm doing this right and I'm having personal relationship and fellowship with the person of the Holy Ghost I will come to know I will come to know that he is God right. at some point it'll, it'll strike on my mind you're God and I'm not are you getting this yes. could you imagine being in the presence of Almighty God and him you being in a personal relationship and you not knowing that he's God if if that's the case your fellowship isn't correct yeah. Are you here? Yes. So anyway, 
am I to know him as God through personal fellowship yes these are the same, I'm just gonna say some stuff that I believe the Holy Ghost told me to say you say you love God but you don't know that he's the Holy Ghost a lot of people walk around and say oh I love God I love God I love God well what are they they're really in love with their idea of what men have told them that God is but if they say they love God they would be loving the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. you say you love God but you don't know that he's the Holy Ghost are you here yes. I mean this sounds this sounds right to you but I'm telling you it sounds really wrong to a lot of people let's go to 1st Corinthians 6 chapter 6 verse 19 what you gotta love that what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you whom you have of God you are not you are your own you are bought with a price therefore glorify or worship God in your body and in your spirit which are God who is the God who's in your body and in your spirit the Holy Ghost what know you not that he's the one mm -hmm. that you're in fellowship with this shouldn't be that difficult who is the person that you're in fellowship with that first uh, second Corinthians 13 said you're in communication and fellowship with the person of the Holy Ghost what know you not are you getting this shouldn't I know through personal relationship and fellowship with him that he is God what how do you not know this are you getting this all right how do you not know I'm convinced that there's no real they real. real there's no real intimate fellowship with the Holy Ghost if you don't come to know that he's God and that he's a person how can how can there be how are you really intimately fellowship you're not you have a religious idea of who God is can you see how this would hold people back from where they're supposed to be yes. yeah we're supposed to be in fellowship and a relationship with the person of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. you just have religious actions and belief if there was real intimate fellowship with him the Holy Ghost you would know him as God you would come to that revelation and then what would you do you know where I'm going here then what would be the first thing you should do worship him as God you're the temple of God what should the temple of God do worship him and yet we don't hear this very often do we that you should worship the Holy Ghost in fact if you say that in most churches or most 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 groups they'd be like no don't do that no don't, don't worship God but see you've been you've been brought up to this place so if you did have real personal intimate fellowship with him you would come to the revelation that he is God that's why I say I'm not criticizing anybody I'm saying there can't be real personal intimate fellowship without coming to that revelation mm -hmm. and understanding right let's just look quickly at Romans chapter 1 right before Corinthians Romans chapter 1 verse 21 because that when they knew God they glorified him not as God neither were thankful but became vain in their foolish imagination in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened they knew that he was God but they glorified him not as God the New Living Translation translates that as worshiped they knew him as God but they worshiped him not as God and therefore their imagination was darkened is the Holy Ghost God yes. Yes. you need to worship him as God are you here yes. if you don't your imagination will be darkened and you'll go to believe something else mm -hmm. which is where most people are but if you do worship him as God you'll begin believing the right thing he'll start to guide your belief into truth is this fun yet my problem with modern Christianity is that they don't tell me to worship the Holy Ghost doesn't mean their doctrine doesn't say it the Apostles Creed specifically says that the Holy Ghost is equal with the Father and the Son and is to be worshiped say is to be, be. worshiped Worship. but yet we don't hear that in our modern Christianity they don't tell you to worship the Holy Ghost are you here yes. 
and by worship the Holy Ghost I don't just mean sing a bunch of songs and call that Holy Ghost worship I mean actually worship the Holy Ghost as God use the words I worship you Holy Ghost most well most don't worship God at all most go don't even say use those words I worship you father I worship you Jesus you understand that that's kind of left out anyway let alone let alone I worship you Holy Ghost Amen. when he is the one that we're supposed to glorify and worship what no you not are you here yes. and as you know uh, the words I worship you Holy Ghost are quite unknown in the body of Christ should that be no it should not be and we're changing that so as I'm writing down my notes the Holy Ghost said to me I want you to tell them things so guess what I get to tell you things I want you to tell them things I love them but they don't love me are you here mm -hmm. I love them but they don't love me they love their religious thinking they're in love with their religious thing no, yeah. I'm sorry I've got to say these things Do you understand yes. they they love their religious thinking now if you think about love there's on the other side of love is jealousy actually that's Exodus 34 14 his name is jealous why is that because he loves his people I love them that would be you I love them but they don't love me they love their religious thinking so he is jealous of your religious thinking he's jealous of your religious conception of God people walk around all day in their religious conception of God if they're not walking around all day in personal fellowship with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today then they're walking around in some religious conception of God are you here mm -hmm. and he's jealous of it he doesn't like it he would consider that an idol mm -hmm. are you here yes. I'm not trying to come down on anyone I'm trying to correct some things so that we can move on and be who we're called to be in the earth okay. I for one refuse to worship at religious Christianity's altar mm -hmm. I reject it they may reject me so what it goes both ways I reject that religious conception that frankly doesn't line up with the word I've read you scriptures are you here you understand that's what people are doing they're relate they're worshiping their doctrine they're lining their themselves up with that and frankly the Holy Ghost say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. who's God in the earth today he's jealous of that can you see that mm -hmm. I for one refuse to worship religious Christianity I worship God who happens to be the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today got a problem with that nope. a lot of people would say I worship the Holy Ghost and they go oh that sounds weird I'm preaching something you may not want to hear but I believe we must go here I mean no one wants to hear that Jesus isn't here no one wants to hear that Jesus left you is that a popular message no no one wants to hear that Jesus will return now they might want to hear that because that doesn't really they're not thinking it through mm -hmm. if Jesus will return that means he's not here That's right. but if Jesus isn't here that means he sent another so who is here the Holy Ghost which is better Jesus said are you here yes. let's go to first Thessalonians I think I'm gonna use some more scriptures how about that first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 for they themselves show us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how you turned to God from idols what do you call that when somebody turns to God from something that's repentance they turn that's what repent means they turned around they turned to God from idols to serve the living God and that word serve is the exact word that you you translate worship many other times in the same Bible mm -hmm. so they turned from idols they turned to God from idols to worship the living and true God who do we know is the living and true God Holy 
the Holy Ghost emphatically the Bible talks about it I have many other messages on that you still here so they turn from idols to worship say worship. worship worship the living and true God who's the living and true God the Holy Ghost let's read on and verse 10 and to wait for they wait, wait for wait for his son from heaven where should you be in light of this verse here you should be worshiping the living and true God and waiting for wait for it wait for it wait for, what what does waiting for mean does it mean you have it no you're waiting for it it has not happened yet right wait for his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead physically even Jesus which delivered us from the wrath to come what Jesus did delivered us from the wrath to come mm -hmm. right. but he's also not here can you see that in this verse of Scripture mm -hmm. who are we worshiping the living and true God the Holy Ghost now if you worship the Holy Ghost oh if you worship the Holy Ghost who is the true and living God this is the Jesus you get what, what do you mean this is the Jesus I get you get the real Jesus say the real Jesus. the real Jesus the real Jesus who rose from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father and shall return well I don't want that Jesus I want the Jesus that walks around with us all day long that's the Holy Ghost are you getting this yes. if you worship the Holy Ghost this is the Jesus you get warning 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 if you cross this line into worshiping the Holy Ghost things change things dramatically change doesn't mean it changes scriptures it will change your view of the scriptures mm -hmm. but everything's in the right place say everything's in the right place everything's in the right place that's what happens when you begin to worship God the Holy Ghost and he puts it into order and you start thinking straight and more effectively that's what the Holy Ghost does when you worship him anyway if you cross the line I'm warning you if you cross the line into worshiping the Holy Ghost things change you'll end up losing a lot of your old beliefs they won't work anymore everything changes everything gets reordered correctly oh well, I'm scared I'm scared don't be scared he's the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today you will walk with him in a personal relationship and you will know him as God and worship him as God what no you not you'll glorify and worship him in your body mm -hmm. the words that I'm saying are directly from the scripture and people don't like it mm -hmm. I'm saying what no you not your body's the temple of the Holy Ghost and you're supposed to glorify and worship him in your body and they're like oh I don't like that you know why you don't like it is because your religious tradition and doctrine keeps you from liking it it's mm -hmm. blocking you but if you cross the line into worshiping him he'll smooth all of that stuff out can you testify to that yeah. I'm testifying to it my testimony is not worthless I'm here testifying to the fact you will have the same doctrine but your view of it will be different you understand mm -hmm. it'd be like you know you could have like a window and you have something drawn on the window but you go outside and you look at it it's the same drawing but it's just different you're viewing it from a different standpoint I view when I get up in the morning that I get up in the morning and walk around with the Holy Ghost who is God in a personal relationship with him and Jesus is going to return that's a problem for a lot of people because they're thinking something different are you here so I'm sold on the fact that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him have I sold you on that yet mm -hmm. if not I'll continue to keep selling this because that is the truth you know they say it's the best thing about the best salespeople the people who've bought into it they really believe in their product I believe in this product I believe in the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today yeah. can't shake me from it if he is God in the earth today then there are a number of things we should be doing that they did not do in former dispensations mm -hmm. number one is worshiping him they worshiping him. worshiping him 
worshiping him as what as God you know him as God then you glorify him as God and worship him as God mm -hmm. so if I can get you to worship him the Holy Ghost he will do the rewiring I don't have to rewire you I can I can preach from that side of things and it'll make sense to you and help you along your journey but he will rewire you he's the teacher when you worship him say when I worship him he rewires you and he rewires you into this dispensation this present dispensation this present age in which the Holy Ghost is God it's the Holy Ghost dispensation ha 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 he fully rewires you into this present dispensation you get new thinking mm -hmm. new believing a new reality you begin to live a new reality is this any good mm -hmm. yes. Ooh, I'm excited about it the Holy Ghost is happy about it the Holy Ghost worship is a new concept for many but it is a thing say it is a thing because a lot of people maybe before we came along wasn't too much of a thing but it's a thing now say it's a thing now it's a, thing now. It's a new reality and people but it's a new reality that people live in I for one am living in that reality are you getting this it's a new reality that people live in it's the beginning mm -hmm. is this exciting yeah. I'm excited about it so I told you he said a few things to me that he wanted me to say he said I want you to tell them things there is nothing that I won't do for you if you will worship me say that there is nothing that he won't do for me if I worship him who the Holy Ghost as God now it's been said that there are no shortcuts in the kingdom of God you ever heard that mm -hmm. I've said it myself there are no shortcuts I mean you got to pay the price right you got to be the disciple mm -hmm. you got to do the fasting you got to do the praying you got to pray in other tongues you got to do the confessions are you here yes. do I disagree with that no I preach that you need to do you need to do the things that you need to do mm -hmm. and I preach on those things all the time there are no shortcuts in the kingdom of God but say but. but are there any buts in the Bible there's a lot of buts in the Bible God I told you if you stayed around to the end I would give you a shortcut there are no shortcuts but I testify that worshiping the Holy Ghost does something different it accelerates your spiritual progress it makes you go faster it's like getting into the jet stream are you here you're still flying the airplane you still got things going on but then you you hit the jet stream and it takes you a lot farther a lot faster and I'm telling you worshiping the Holy Ghost has given me the greatest advancements say the greatest advancements, the greatest advancements. spiritually than anything else I'm not saying that praying in tongues doesn't do something I'm not saying that confessing the word doesn't do anything, something but when I worship the Holy Ghost it's like skipping ahead mm -hmm. Romans 14 17 says for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost so the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost you understand mm -hmm. so all the things that you can possibly want are in the Holy Ghost does this make sense mm -hmm. and everything is in the Holy Ghost worshiping the Holy Ghost or using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is like teleporting ahead mm -hmm. you're here and then you're there mm -hmm. I'm here and I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost then I'm there mm -hmm. are you getting this mm -hmm. skipping ahead you skip over things you advance you skip over things that maybe you should have been doing because he gives you extra grace extra favor he does something say he does something, he does something. remember there is nothing I won't do for you if you will worship me which means if you worship him he's gonna do things for you and if he does things for you it's like skipping ahead 
you skip over things even things maybe sh you should have done we all go should I have prayed in tongues more mm -hmm. should I have confessed the word more mm -hmm. right should I have maybe fasted more don't even go there should, right you understand have you ever tried to fast yeah it's not as easy as you know I don't think anybody makes it look easy but anyway you understand I should have I should have I should have he'll cause you to skip over things maybe that you should have done because he's doing something for you remember it's the kingdom of God is in him so everything you want out of the kingdom of God is in him when I worship him I join up in intimate fellowship with him I become one with him and he causes me to skip ahead you have to choose to make the leap what do you mean make the leap you have to choose to worship him this day whom will you serve oftentimes the words serve and worship are flipped one time it'll say worship one time it'll say choose who you're gonna worship choose who you're gonna serve who are we choosing in our day and age holy, holy ghost. ghost we're gonna worship him right you have to choose to worship him you have to make the choice you're the one who makes the leap are you getting this when you make that leap you're leaping off into something that probably nobody else that you know is doing well I don't know that's scary relax he's God he likes worship you make the choice who are you worshiping who are you worshiping Holy Ghost what can he the Holy Ghost do for you he didn't do anything that you, you want him to right what can he do for you better what does he do let's look at a few things that he does because he's gonna do that say that yeah. that's what he's gonna do when you worship him he's gonna do that worship intimately connects you with that one that you're worshiping are you here when he says koinonia or communion that the word intimate fellowship you know we can talk about intimacy between husband and wife right they become the Bible says they become one without getting graphic they become one flesh when you worship the Holy Ghost you become one with him who is he what can he do it's why you advance so quickly through worship using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is this making sense you become one with that one that worketh I'm going to take you to some scriptures that shows you he does things say he does things. he does things who does things the Holy Ghost and when you're worshiping him he worketh for you mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these and he just listed all of the gifts of the Spirit right and a whole bunch of other things all of these worketh say worketh, worketh. we're talking about him doing things for you what is it that the Holy Ghost can do all of these worketh that one and self same spirit are you here yes. all these say all. all all these worketh that one and self same spirit dividing this every man severally as he wills he wills to do things for you when you worship him are you getting this yes. worship intimately connects you with the one that works you're worshiping him and he's doing it say I'm worshiping him and he's doing it what's he doing all of these now let's go just follow me on this little trail here go to a verse 28 first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 28 and God hath set some in the church say God hath set I'm gonna show you who we're talking about here God hath set we know because we've been here long enough who we're talking about but God hath set some in the church apostles prophets it goes on here right yes. let's go back to verse 18 now hath God set sounds like the same thing right now hath God set the members every one of them in the body as it pleased him him say him, him. so we have God setting we have God setting again as it pleased him let's go back up to verse 6 now there are diversities of operations but it is the same God say the same God. same God 
so in verse 28 it says God hath set then down in here in verse 18 it says now hath God set in verse 6 it says the same God which what mm -hmm. worketh there's one God we're talking about is the one that set the one that did it as it pleased him and the one that works all in all you still here yes. now I'll go down to verse 11 but all these worketh that one and who the self same spirit mm -hmm. who's the one who's doing all of this stuff the Holy, the Holy Ghost he's setting in the church he's working say he's working, he's working. what happens when you worship him you become one with him and he does things for you it's how you skip ahead now I can pray in tongues and you should because when I'm praying in tongues I'm communicating with the Holy Ghost he that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not to men but unto God for no man understands him but how be it in the spirit he speaks mysteries right mm -hmm. you should confess the word because when you're confessing the word you're speaking in agreement with God the Holy Ghost who is in the earth are you here yes. I'm not saying you shouldn't praying tongues I'm I'm not saying that you shouldn't confess the word I'm saying you should do those things but you can jump ahead you can skip ahead by worshiping the Holy Ghost where he does things for you he's the one who does things for you say he's, he's the, one the one who does, does things me. for me and when I worship him things happen quickly we thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people online and blessing these people here and as they worship you and know you as God I ask that those things happen quickly an angel go forth and make it happen very quickly hallelujah we thank you for it in Jesus name amen yeah. hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I thank you that you are God near today I thank you that I am blessed I thank you that increase is coming to me now and this offering or this tithe is multiplied greatly and comes back to me multiplied and increased in every way in Jesus name amen Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today